All right, everybody. Today I want to talk about uh, what happens when you try to connect to a branch controller, a uh, Metasys controller. So yeah, this is a uh, Metasys right here. It's a gray controller. We know it's a branch controller. It starts with FEC. It's a branch controller, right? And we have Facility Explorer licenses. So how does it work? Let's see here. So I'll go in there. I'll try to commission. Y'all don't know already, this won't work. Um, it'll actually discover it. We'll see it here. Give it a second. Let it hook up. And no, it's not just because I'm using the Bluetooth. This will, same thing will happen on the map gateway or plugged into a JACE or in an E or whatever, right? So here's the controller. Hit next. Everything looks like it's going to work, but look, model number. MS. I want you to notice that MS. So as soon as we hit next, it's a blank screen. Nothing, right? I can't, I can't get past the screen. So that didn't work. Well, let's just try to load it to our computer, right? So transfer to computer, Bluetooth. Let's go find it again. It'll find it right. Here's the find. We'll hit next. MSFEC. Same thing, right? We we can't see the program in here. And I'll show you. This this is why I always go to online operations. Again, it tells you a little bit more information. Um, but it'll it'll tell me why we can't talk to this controller. Maybe it doesn't tell you in online operations. So I did it in tools, truck utilities, transfer calves to computer. So if you go here, select a directory. Okay. Should I click on it? Discover. Again, it will go and discover it. But right here, status. Missing field controller packets. Will not let me click on it. See? This should collect, select all. It won't. Will not let me click on it. So, there's really no way of getting the control program out of here unless you have a branch copy of CCT. Well, you know, maybe, let's just say, maybe you have a, a branch copy of CCT, or maybe they left the um, CAF files updated on a computer that's there on site, right? They did a backup. Well, that's nice of them. So can we open up a backup file? that has it in there well this actually is the backup calf of that we can see it right here msfec we can see it was loaded in version 10.0 right i can upgrade it to 10.2 so let's upgrade it again this is only if you can if you have the calf file obviously there's no way to jump in there and get the calf file and see the programming but if you have the cat file somehow some way we can upgrade that cat file to reuse that program that's in the controller All right, so it's going to upgrade it from 10.0 to 10.2. Now down here, 
we have to choose a device that we actually have packages for, right? So I have packages for a PCG2611, right? Because we're going to change it from the MS to the FX. So that's good. I'll hit yes. And look, it's going to say, uh, it's going to tell you which modules aren't going to install, all right? This one, it's not a big deal. It's just not going to upgrade. It still works. So as soon as I hit yes, it's going to work here. Move this guy out of the way. And all my stuff is bound. If I go to define hardware, my controller is set. Pointer satellites are made. We didn't change anything. We didn't change the address. Everything's the same. This is my package files it's not into so now I could take this and go load it into a controller an FX controller the PCG 2611 right so it's that simple if you have the cat file you can get into it but if you don't have the cat file there's no way for you to get into it unless you have access to branch CCT